All right, so I want to start off by talking about this house that I used to live in with my family. It was me, me and my brother, my mom and my dad. We had moved into this house um, when I was probably, I want to say nine or 10 years old or maybe even 11. Um, we were living across the street at the apartments there and um, my dad was offered this house for a good price, you know, so we were paying rent on it every month and we moved in there and the house looked really, really nice. It had a huge yard, fence was all the way around, it had a really nice garage that my dad loved it. We all loved it. But um, through those years that we were living there, um, we moved when I was 17, we moved out of that house. Um, I went through so much stuff in that house, um, more than anybody else. Um, our, my bedroom was in the front of the house on the right side. I mean, on the left side, you see the window on the left side, that was my bedroom right in the very front. My parents' bedroom was on the very back of the house. You see that last window on the right side, that was their bedroom. So they were way in the back and I was way in the front. Well, one night, my brother was spending the night at a friend's house. And see that window on the left side? Again, that is my bedroom right there. And the right window is where the living room was. So right when you walk in, there's the living room. You turn left, there's my bedroom. Across from it, there's a the restroom. Um, so again, I was, just, I was um, listening to some music. It was like maybe... 10 30 at night it was a weekend um i think it was a friday or a saturday no it had to be a saturday i was listening to some music and um i had my little my vcr on and it had like a kind of a bright light on it and i could still see around the room and everything and i was listening to music for a long time i just couldn't sleep and it was like maybe 2.30, close to 3 o'clock in the morning, I decided I was going to go to sleep. So I took my headphones off, and I turned off the radio, and I was laying on this couch bed thing that we had in the bedroom. Um, I didn't want to turn it into a bed. I just left it as a, a couch, and I was just laying there, and I could see like the door, my bedroom door, started to shake like crazy. And my parents would always leave this bright neon beer light on. It's like a really old beer light. They would use it as a night light. And you could see really good. I could see underneath it was still on. But the doorknob, like I said, it was shaking really, really hard. And I was asking, Mom, is that you? Dad, is that you? And nothing. I did not get a single response when I was hearing that noise. It freaked me out. I knew that could not have been my parents. And my brother wasn't home. My little brother was not home. So I looked under the door to see if I saw a shadow. And sure enough, I saw a shadow. It looks like somebody was standing right in front of my door. And then the doorknob started shaking harder. And I was like, who is it? Who, who's out there? And I heard this man's laughter. And it was not my dad, because he does not laugh like that. And that, I swear, my my blood ran cold. I was so freaked out. I didn't have a phone in my room to call anybody. I, you know, I, I just did not know what to do. I was freaking out. The doorknob finally stopped shaking, and I heard the footsteps walking. Deep footsteps. Bump. It was like, I don't know, like he was wearing boots or something. And I could hear it in the living room. Then I heard the front door open. And then close. And I ran to that front window. My window right there where you see on the left side. I looked out. But I also heard, just before I reached the window, I heard the front gate open. Not this gate that you see open. There's another gate, like to that sidewalk. I heard it, you know, it squeaks and it opened. And I didn't see anybody. I looked all around outside. I did not see anybody out the window. Nobody. Not a soul. And I was so scared. I couldn't even run to my parents' room or anything. I was so scared to even open the door. I stayed up all night until the morning when I heard my parents getting up and my dad was getting ready for work. 
and he usually, he usually tells me goodbye in the morning before he leaves for work. So when they opened up the door to check on me, they saw me, I was awake, and I was still freaking out, and, you know, um, I was telling them everything that happened, and my dad was like, what, you know, it was almost like he, he couldn't believe, you know, what he was hearing, and he also told me, why didn't I wake them up? But I was too freaked out. I was too scared after what happened. I didn't know who that was. I I didn't know if they were pretending that they left and they were still in the house. I don't know if that was a person or a spirit or what, but I was scared out of my mind. And when my dad opened the front door, he noticed that we had a screen door and that was unlocked. And that is always locked. And he saw that the front gate was still open. That scared me. That scared all of us. That was like one of the most freakiest nights that I can remember. Another time was when my parents went to the store really late at night. They went about, well, they were waiting for my dad to get out of work. And he gets off work around 10. He didn't get home so close to 11 that night. And, um... They went to the store, just um, my parents went. I decided to stay home. I should have went with them, but I decided to stay home. So I was watching TV in the living room. My little brother was there in the bedroom watching TV. And um, I started to hear a car, like, their, no, they had a truck. It, I heard their motor, somebody was driving into our driveway. I can hear it clear as day. I saw the lights through the window, through the, the curtain shining through like somebody had pulled into our driveway. And I was like, Martin, mommy's, mom, dad's here. You know, I told that to my brother. And um, he comes running. He's like, wow, that, that was quick because they weren't gone that long. I looked outside through the window on the other side and I didn't see anybody. I didn't see their truck. I didn't hear their door open. I didn't hear anything. It was completely quiet. So... I opened up the front door, went out to the porch, peeked over towards the driveway, and there was not a vehicle in that driveway at all. There was nothing there. I got so scared. Me and my brother both got scared. We ran back inside, we locked up the door, and that was just, that was another crazy thing that had happened. And, um... There was another thing that happened when me and my brother were alone in the house. Um, oh, by the way, that tree that you're looking at, that big tree, my dad planted that tree right there. And the one, the big one in the back, he planted that also. So I got these pictures off of Google Maps because um, I'm afraid to pass through that street and everything and look at that house. So I was just looking at it and I decided to make a tell you guys the story, make a video, tell you guys what had happened to me in the house. And um, the house is exactly the same as I remember it. The paint color is the same. Is Everything looks exactly the same the way we left it. My dad painted that house. He painted the garage, the door, everything exactly the same. So it's weird looking at these pictures. But anyway, um, when, one time when we and my brother were in the house by ourselves, um, we heard this scratching on the door and freaked us out because it was like, well, we didn't have any cats at that time. And um, my brother opens up the door and he turns on the porch light and there's this big, gray, strange looking cat looking at us. And my brother unlocks the screen door and lets him come in and he this cat was so weird he walks all the way into the back where our kitchen is turns left into our kitchen stands in front of the fridge and it's like this cat knew exactly where the kitchen was and and um, we gave him a, a bowl of milk he drank the milk finished it and walked back to the front door Waited for my brother to unlock the screen door and let him back out. And we never saw him again after that. It was the strangest thing. <laughs> we never saw that cat again either. That was weird. Um, another thing that happened that I can remember that was very, very creepy. 
was when we decided to move out of this house. We packed up all our stuff. It was the last night that we um, were in that house. Um, my mom decided she wanted to stay behind and um, take her shower there because we didn't have water yet at the new house. And uh, everything was pretty much out of that house. We were just waiting for my mom to finish up. And my dad was just looking, making sure we didn't leave anything behind, just checking closets and cabinets and everything. And me and my brother decided we're going to wait in the truck. And we're waiting in the truck. And I heard this very, very loud, deep humming noise coming from behind the garage door. This thing did not sound human it did not sound natural it sounded demonic me and my brother heard that and we got scared too scared to get out of the truck and run inside too scared to yell for our parents we were just sitting in the truck in the dark looking straight ahead at that garage trying to see if we see anything coming from behind it or whatever. We didn't know if the sound was coming from inside the garage or behind it, but to me it sounded like something was behind the garage or something. It just, I mean, I don't understand how anybody could not hear this noise. This noise would make your skin crawl. It sounded like nothing you've ever heard before. Then my parents come out of the house, they lock up the door, leave the key in the, key in the mailbox. And right away, um, we roll down the window and we're like, do y'all hear that noise? What is that noise? And my parents are looking at us completely confused. Like, they didn't understand what we were, what we were talking about. I was saying, that noise, y'all don't hear that. And they were saying no. They didn't hear anything. How could they not hear this noise. This noise was extremely loud and ugly, like deep hum. It was creepy. Oh, I'm going to stop this real quick and say that, see those two windows, those two windows on your left side, that was our dining room. Those two windows in the back, that was my parents' room back there. And that yard in the back, it was huge. We had lost so many cats. We had pets. We had puppies. We had and a lot of them died. They were poisoned. Can you believe that? Someone poisoned our animals. And I had, oh my gosh, our backyard. We had a lot of pets that we had to bury back there. It was extremely sad. And it was hard for us to own any animals. You know, as much as we wanted to keep them inside, our landlord told us, no, we can't. If we want a pet, they have to stay outside. And if they did stay outside, somebody was poisoning them and we had to bury them. It, it was, when they died, we had to, it was just horrible. So a lot of times we would sneak them inside. <laughs> but somehow the landlord would find out. And that's one of the reasons, that's the reason why we had to move. Because the landlord found out we had a puppy inside. And um, he came and there was a big argument. And my dad said, you know what, we're going to move. This is ridiculous. So that's what started it, the reason why we moved. See that garage? My dad painted that, that original. I remember having garage sales there and everything. But anyways, that, back to the story where me and my brother was hearing something coming from behind that garage. Like I said, my parents didn't hear anything. And this thing, this sound was extremely loud. I had a very bad feeling about this place and I was so glad we were moving. I wanted to get out of there fast. And uh, finally they got in the truck and I was like, Dad, you know, you, you can't hear. It's getting louder. Now that we're about to leave, he turned the truck on and it started getting louder. And even my brother, he was like, you know, so scared. And he didn't hear anything. He didn't hear anything at all. In fact, he got out of the truck. He walked right in front of the garage up there. He said, I don't hear anything. I don't know what y'all are hearing. There, it's silent. And um, he came back to the truck, and I was completely confused because, you know, me and Martin could hear this thing. And 
my dad was backing up into the street and we were pulling away going down the street I was looking behind behind like where the garage area was down the street and I thought I saw this dark shadow and then it disappeared and then when we were going to our new house um, I found out that um, we there was a fire at the same time we were leaving this place and it was a really bad fire and I ended up losing somebody I really really cared about so this night ended up being a very horrible night I lost a best friend of mine and he lost his sister it was just really really horrible but um, yeah this house has always haunted me I still have nightmares about this house and a lot it's weird how many nightmares I still have about this house um, just thinking about it I get chills um, I believe there was something really bad in this house. There's another time where my dad, he said, I used to tell him that there's something in this room, I could feel like a man, like a demon or something. So he went into our bedroom, and me and my brother went into their room when we were kids, and he slept in our room by himself. He said, I'm going to see if I feel anything. And he was laying down and he felt something. He felt the presence of something.